Top 7 Reasons Why We Love Guillermo Jimmy Kimmel Live is, without a doubt, a staple of late-night television. Over the course of nearly 20 seasons and almost 3,000 episodes, the show has proven itself to be a reliable successor to prior late-night classics, like The Tonight Show with Conan O'Brien and a worthy opponent to competing programs like Jimmy Fallon's or Seth Meyers. As the longest-running late-night talk show in U.S. history, Jimmy Kimmel Live has no shortage of memorable moments, from the host's classic feud with Matt Damon to his pranks with John Krasinski. However, even if Kimmel didn't have all of Hollywood's celebrities at hand, he still wouldn't lose the show's greatest asset, loyal correspondent and security guard, Guillermo. Simply put, Jimmy Kimmel would not be the same without Guillermo's Hollywood Roundup and his many other appearances and skits. Since his first appearance with Uncle Frank back in 2003, Guillermo has made us laugh time and again, and he has given us more than enough reasons to watch his show. As our special homage to Late Night TV's Greatest Little Man, keep watching to find out the 7 reasons we love Guillermo from Jimmy Kimmel Live. While you're at it, make sure you like this second video devoted to the Mexican TV personality and subscribe to our channel to show your support. Don't forget to hit the bell icon too. If you do, you'll get a notification every time there's a new video available for you. We love to bring you the latest news and fun facts on your favorite film, music, and television celebrities and work hard to deliver well. Number 7. He's always willing to face his worst fears Although most of us would be intimidated to meet our celebrity heroes, to say the least, Guillermo has shown time and again that he's able to face situations none of us would probably dare to do. We're not just talking about doing small talk with huge stars or asking NFL idol Tom Brady whether he smells like flowers. Kimmel has constantly challenged his top reporter to face his biggest fears. Unsurprisingly, for those of us who know him, Guillermo has always been up to the test. Despite his panic of heights, he's agreed to do things like climb the Empire State Building on foot or tackle the terrifying Sky Slide, a glass slide on the outside of a 70th floor. That's a genuine sign of courage even if the results were not exactly worthy of an action stunt. But sliding down a giant building hasn't been Guillermo's scariest challenge on the show. Thinking he would go to virtual reality therapy to conquer his fear of snakes, Jimmy Kimmel's sidekick found himself face to scale with a real-life specimen. In defiance of his anxiety, he managed to touch the reptile with one finger. Again, it may not look too courageous, but then again, Guillermo was brave despite his fear. Number 6 He's a hardworking man, on and off screen. Performing whatever random activity boss Jimmy Kimmel suggests him to do takes a lot of stamina and hard labor. Needless to say, Guillermo has proven himself ready to work his butt off in order to make us laugh. From climbing buildings to fencing, even to getting high on 420 for the show, there is nothing our favorite correspondent isn't willing to do for the audience. His tireless, up-for-anything attitude probably has to do with his life prior to becoming a TV celebrity. Before his big break, January 1971 Guillermo Rodriguez worked two full-time jobs as a hotel room server and as a security guard at the show's parking lot. He was also on duty during the weekends and he barely had time to see the family he was providing for. Luckily, all his titanic efforts paid off, and his salary as a cast member on Jimmy Kimmel might make it easier for him to put in the effort required, which is no picnic in any case. Number 5. He Knows How to Deal with Celebrities Guillermo's aforementioned stint as a security guard in the Jimmy Kimmel parking lot granted him the unlikely chance to skyrocket to notoriety. But before that, it gave him the opportunity to mingle and talk to the stars themselves. In an interview, he confessed that a lot of things happened to him with big names, but he kept his mouth shut about what they were. In any case, his probably wacky experiences helped him become the top-notch celebrity reporter he is today. His approachable attitude towards actors and athletes is unparalleled. Most TV hosts wouldn't be able to convince Brian Cranston, Charlize Theron, and Sasha Baron Cohen to down a shot of tequila right before the Oscars. Although, you know, not even he can sway LeBron James into talking to him. Save for that notable exception, Guillermo's charm is incredibly strong. We just hope the blue agave liquor isn't as strong or he would be knocked out before the awards. Number 4. He stays humble no matter what. 
From his humble beginnings in the Mexican town of Zacatecas to his current spot as the most hilarious correspondent on late night TV, Guillermo has really come a long way. However, unlike many other on-screen personalities, he has never let this huge success go to his head. Above all, Guillermo Rodriguez has stayed humble and authentic, which is yet another key to his rapport with superstars. Look no further than his revealing interview with RuPaul. As guest host for the show, the American drag queen, television judge, musician, and model asked Guillermo all the questions we have wanted to ask ourselves, and the answers were far from disappointing. Guillermo Rodriguez revealed himself as a true class act, opened up about his appreciation of Kimmel as a friend in chief, and last but not least, melted our hearts when he mentioned how lucky and blessed he felt to be part of the show. His path to stardom might have been a lucky break, but we'd be hard-pressed to think of someone who deserves it more. Number 3. He's a total ladies' man, but he's all about the bromance too. Yes, Guillermo feels very privileged to be part of the show, and there is admittedly one privilege that he appreciates more than anything else. He gets to talk to some of the prettiest women in show business. Over the course of his career, he has traded more than a few kisses and hugs with icons like Megan Fox and Charlize Theron, and he dipped the Oscars presenter Isa Gonzalez. That's quite a track record. There's clearly something irresistible about the little guy. But Guillermo is not only a charming ladies' man, he's also not afraid to be loving and sweet with his male friends. He has not only spoken plainly about his friendship with Jimmy Kimmel himself, but he has also said that he considers late Uncle Frank a mentor and a friend. On a lighter note, we're also fans of his enduring bromance with Tom Brady and his long hug with former wide receiver Chris Hogan. We'd be down for a lengthy cuddle as well. Number 2. He's better at hating Matt Damon than Kimmel himself. One of Kimmel's main claims to fame, even outside his regular audience, is his reoccurring beef with actor Matt Damon. Although the running joke has given us peerless moments and hits like I'm effing Matt Damon, and yes, I'm effing Ben Affleck, we have to say our favorite part about the Damon vs. Kimmel fight is Guillermo's role in it. You could say Guillermo hates Matt Damon with even more flair than Jimmy Kimmel himself. Besides crashing his Elysium interview and showing us an even better movie trailer for Assface, the signature reporter takes every random meeting with a CIA operative performer for a jab or an insult. But of course, our favorite example of this clash of titans was the best unofficial Bourne sequel ever made, in which Guillermo proved that he had the chops to replace Matt Damon himself as, yay son, Bourne Identity. Give the man an action franchise already. Number 1. His Laugh There's just not much to say here, is there? We'll let the man speak, or rather, laugh for himself. That was our countdown of the top 7 things we love about Kimmel's sidekick, and maybe successor, Guillermo Rodriguez. What's your favorite thing about him? Don't be shy, share it with us. Let us know what you love about our favorite celebrity correspondent in the comments section below. Oh, and when you're done, don't forget to click on the like and subscribe buttons to show your support for our channel. Remember to hit the bell icon too. That way, you'll get notified every time we've got something new for you. Thanks for watching, and see you soon!